All right, in this video, I'm going to show uh, show you how to multiply matrices using Excel. All right, so here we have two matrices, A and B, and we want to multiply A, matrix A, times matrix B. Now, first what we need to do is we need to look at the dimensions of the matrix. You can see that matrix A is a 2 by 3, okay, and matrix B is a 3 by 2. All right, and remember the only way that you can multiply matrices is if the two inside numbers are the same, and then your product matrix is going to be the two outside numbers. So our product matrix is a 2 by 2, and this is important. For when we when we multiply it in Excel. All right. So the first thing we need to do is we need to enter these two matrices into Excel, and I've already done that. Uh, each each element in the matrix gets its own cell. Okay. So enter each element in its own cell, both matrices. All right, and remember that our product matrix is going to be a 2 by 2, okay, the two outside numbers. All right, so let's come over here and pull Excel up. All right, so I've already entered them in. See, each, each element gets its own cell. There's both matrices. This is matrix A. This is matrix B. Now, notice I have this cell here highlighted. But remember, our product matrix is going to be a 2 by 2. So when I enter the formula in, I have to select two rows and two columns. Okay? And, and remember, because it's a 2 by 2 matrix. And remember, with a matrix, like the dimension of this one is a 2 by 3, two rows by three columns. This one's a 3 by 2, three rows by two columns. All right, so now the easiest way, the easiest way to uh, enter the formula in is to hit this little insert function button. Okay, it's right by the the formula bar where you enter your formulas in. Okay, so you hit the insert function bar, and and here's a list of all the functions. Sometimes it may default to most uh, recently used. Okay. But, you know, if you haven't used the multiplying matrix function, then you might want to hit all. And the formula is this one here, mmult, M-M-U-L-T, okay, returns the matrix product of two arrays, okay. And then we just hit OK, and now it wants array 1. Well, this is going to be matrix A. So we just highlight matrix A, and then we expand it back down, and then we need to enter in matrix B, or array 2. So I click this, and I can move this out of the way, and I select matrix B, and I expand it back down. Alright, so here's the, here's the important part here. Here it has an OK button. Okay. But we, if we hit the OK button, it's not going to give us the result that we need. Watch what happens if I click the OK button. See, it just gives me this solution here. Okay? And notice the formula here. Okay? See, this formula has no braces around it. Well, this, this function here, this formula here, is an array formula. And what we have to do, now let me go ahead and delete this, and I'm going to get this back up. Let me go ahead and select the uh, arrays again. Alright, so to enter the formula, since this is an array formula, you have to hit Control Shift Enter and hold the Control key down hit the shift key and hold both of those down and hit the enter key. 
So watch what happens. Control Shift Enter. And there it gives you the results. And notice the difference in the formula, how it has the braces around them here. Okay. So multiply matrices, you just punch in the two matrices and remember you have to write the dimensions of the matrix down and the two inside numbers if they're the same then you can multiply them and the two outside numbers tells you what how many cells you're gonna select in other words if it was a if your product was gonna be a 3 by 3 matrix you would select three rows and three columns okay if it was a three, if your solution was going to be a three by two, you would select three rows and two columns. And remember, once you get everything entered into the formula, you have to hit the Control Shift Enter key, or the formula won't work. All right, so I hope this video helped. All right, thanks, and if you like them, you can subscribe.